Ever noticed how the quietest person in the room is often the one people underestimate? You might think they're shy, weak, or even boring. But what if I told you that the quiet ones are often the most dangerous? While others are talking, they're listening. While everyone's distracted, they're analyzing. And when they finally speak, their words carry weight. Today, we're going to explore the 10 reasons why quiet people are far more dangerous than you might think. From their sharp observation skills to their hidden strength, the silent ones hold more power than meets the eye. So before you brush them off as harmless, stay tuned, because you might be surprised by what you learn. Let's dive in. Quiet people are observant. While others are busy talking, sharing ideas, or even arguing, the quiet ones are absorbing every detail. They're not distracted by the need to speak or be the center of attention. Instead, they're listening, really listening. They pick up on things others don't notice. Body language, tone shifts, even the unspoken tensions in the room. By staying silent, they gather more information than anyone else. While loud voices reveal their cards, quiet people stay two steps ahead. Their observation skills make them dangerous because they're always one move ahead of the game. They notice patterns, behaviors, and even your weaknesses. And here's the thing, you won't even realize how much they know until it's too late. The more people talk, the more vulnerable they become. The quiet ones, they're gathering ammunition. So the next time you're in a group and there's someone just sitting quietly, don't assume they're uninvolved or uninterested. They're probably the most dangerous person in the room because they know more than you think. They don't tolerate misbehavior. Here's something people often get wrong about quiet individuals. Just because they're silent doesn't mean they're passive. In fact, quiet people have strong moral standards and they're often more patient than most. But when they see something wrong, they won't let it slide. That's enough. You're crossing a line. Quiet people observe everything and can tell when someone is out of line. While others might ignore bad behavior or hesitate to intervene, the quiet ones will step up when it matters. And when they speak, it's often with a calm authority that's hard to argue against. They don't speak up often, but when they do, it's because they've seen enough and they're ready to hold people accountable. And believe me, you'll know when you've crossed the line. This ability to call out misbehavior without hesitation makes quiet people dangerous to those who think they can get away with anything. They're patient, but they have limits. And once those limits are crossed, they'll stand their ground. So the next time you think someone is too quiet to cause a stir, remember, quiet people don't need to be loud to make an impact. When they've had enough, they'll speak up. And trust me, you'll listen. Quiet doesn't mean weakness. One of the biggest misconceptions about quiet people is that they're weak, shy, or easy to manipulate. But just because someone isn't loud doesn't mean they lack strength, whether physical or mental. Quiet people don't feel the need to constantly prove themselves to others. They don't seek validation by talking over people or dominating conversations. Instead, they rely on their inner strength, and that's exactly what makes them dangerous. Here's the thing. Loud people often assume they can easily overpower quiet ones, but they're in for a surprise. Quiet individuals don't back down when it matters, and they're more than capable of standing up for themselves when pushed. You don't know me as well as you think. Whether it's physical strength, mental resilience, or emotional control, quiet people often have hidden depths of strength, and because they don't advertise it, you won't see it coming until it's too late. Quiet doesn't mean weak. It means they've mastered the art of restraint, choosing their battles wisely, and when they do engage, you'll realize just how strong they really are. Excellent social skills. You might think that just because someone is quiet, they struggle with social interactions. But in reality, quiet people often have a unique and powerful way of connecting with others. Their social skills aren't loud, they're strategic. While others may be drawn to big crowds and loud conversations, quiet individuals focus on building quality connections. They listen deeply, ask thoughtful questions, and form bonds that are rooted in trust and respect. Because quiet people take the time to really listen, their interactions tend to be more meaningful. They aren't just waiting for their turn to speak. They're fully engaged in the conversation. This creates a strong foundation of mutual trust, making others feel seen and heard. This ability to form deep connections is what makes quiet people socially dangerous. Their relationships aren't based on superficial interactions, but on genuine understanding and loyalty. And because of this, the people they bond with are unlikely to betray them. They don't need to be the life of the party to have influence. Quiet people can build networks based on trust, 
and when they speak, people listen. Their words carry weight because they've earned respect through their actions, not just their voice. Determined and loyal. Quiet people are often mistaken for being passive or uninterested, but behind the silence is a deep resolve. When they set their mind on something, they're not easily distracted. They might not talk about their plans, but they're always working toward them. This quiet determination is what makes them so dangerous. They won't back down when things get tough. Their loyalty to their goals and the people they care about drives them to keep going, even when the odds are stacked against them. But it's not just their determination that makes them formidable. It's their loyalty. Quiet people are fiercely loyal to the ones they care about. They don't form shallow connections. And once they've committed to someone, they'll go to great lengths to protect them. Their loyalty makes them dependable allies, but it can also make them dangerous to those who cross them. Once they're committed to something or someone, they don't give up easily. They'll fight for what's important to them, even if it means staying silent until the right moment. Whether it's a personal goal or a bond they've built, quiet people's determination and loyalty are unwavering. It's this quiet strength that makes them someone you'd want on your side and someone you wouldn't want to betray. Their words speak volumes. When quiet people finally speak, it's because they've taken the time to listen, think, and process. They don't talk just to fill the silence. They talk when they have something important to say. I've been thinking about what's been said, and here's what I believe we need to focus on. This is the power of a quiet person's words, because they don't speak often. When they do, people listen. Their words carry weight because they've taken the time to consider every angle, every consequence. They aren't impulsive, and they choose their words carefully. When they speak, it's with purpose. They've already analyzed the situation, gathered the facts, and processed the emotions. Their words aren't just noise, they're solutions, perspectives, and insights that leave a lasting impression. Unlike those who speak just to be heard, quiet people speak to make an impact. And because their words are often thoughtful and intentional, they leave a mark that stays with you long after the conversation ends. Their ability to speak with clarity and purpose makes quiet people dangerous to those who underestimate them. When they do speak, their words can change minds, shift perspectives, and even turn the tide of a situation. So the next time a quiet person speaks, pay close attention. Because when they do, their words will resonate far beyond the moment, sometimes even more than the loudest voices in the room. They know your secrets. Because quiet people spend more time listening than talking, they often pick up on details that others miss. They can sense when someone is holding something back or when the words don't match the body language. This makes them excellent at reading between the lines. Whether it's observing small changes in someone's behavior or overhearing a careless remark, quiet people are always gathering information. And sometimes they learn things that others would rather keep hidden. Here's the thing. Quiet people don't need to confront you to know the truth. They've already pieced it together just by watching and listening. They've connected the dots while you weren't even aware they were paying attention. Interesting, I thought as much. And while quiet people may not use this knowledge right away, they always have it at the ready. If someone tries to cross them or take advantage of their silence, they know just how to use this information to their advantage. This is what makes quiet people dangerous. You might think you're keeping secrets, but they've probably already figured them out. They can use that information to protect themselves, or if needed, to turn the tables on those who try to deceive them. They know themselves well. One of the greatest strengths of quiet people is the time they spend with themselves. Instead of being distracted by constant noise and conversation, they invest in understanding their own thoughts, feelings, and motivations. In their silence, they gain clarity. Quiet people are introspective. They spend time reflecting on their actions, their values, and the direction they want their life to take. They know their strengths, their weaknesses, and they aren't easily swayed by outside opinions. This self-awareness makes them resilient in the face of conflict or pressure. They don't need external validation because they have a strong foundation within themselves. This is what makes them hard to manipulate or deceive. They know who they are and what they stand for. Quiet people aren't easily influenced by the crowd. They've spent so much time reflecting on their principles that they are deeply rooted in their beliefs. You can't easily shake their confidence or push them into something they don't agree with. Their deep understanding of themselves gives them a quiet strength that is often underestimated. In a world where so many people are lost in the noise, 
Quiet people have a rare and powerful gift. They truly know themselves. Quiet people can manipulate others. While quiet people are often thought to be easy targets for manipulation, the truth is, they're usually the ones in control. Because they spend more time observing than speaking, they gather information, details that others miss. This gives them a unique power, the ability to influence people without them even realizing it. I was just thinking, maybe it would make more sense if we tried this instead. Quiet people know how to plant ideas and influence decisions, all without making it obvious. They don't need to be loud or forceful to get what they want. They let others feel like they're in control, all the while subtly steering the outcome. Because they're masters of observation, quiet people can sense the right moment to intervene. They understand what motivates others, what they fear, and what they desire, allowing them to use this knowledge to subtly manipulate situations to their advantage. They use soft power, subtle suggestions, carefully chosen words, and their deep understanding of human behavior. This quiet manipulation can be incredibly effective because it's invisible. You might not even realize they're influencing you. Quiet people aren't always manipulative, but when they need to be, they know how to play the game. And because they do it so subtly, you'll never see it coming. They can deceive easily. While they may seem harmless, quiet people can be the most deceptive. Why? Because they let others underestimate them. They don't reveal too much about themselves keeping their thoughts and intentions hidden behind a calm exterior. I think it happened this way, but I could be wrong. Their ability to deceive lies in their subtlety. Quiet people are skilled at presenting half-truths, knowing exactly how much to reveal and when to hold back. They can plant seeds of doubt, shape perceptions, and make others believe something that isn't true, all without raising suspicion. Unlike those who are loud and brash, quiet people don't rely on direct lies. Instead, they manipulate the truth, knowing that others will often assume the best because they seem so reserved and trustworthy. Because they keep to themselves, people don't see them as a threat. But this is what makes quiet people so dangerous. They can deceive you effortlessly, and you won't even realize it until it's too late. Quiet people don't often resort to deception, but when they do, it's incredibly effective. Their silence allows them to stay two steps ahead, while everyone else is left in the dark. Conclusion So, what have we learned about quiet people? Far from being weak or naive, their silence is often their greatest strength. They're observant, they don't tolerate misbehavior, and they know how to use their words carefully. They may not say much, but when they do it has weight. Their loyalty is unwavering, their social skills sharp, and they know themselves better than most. Quiet people are often misunderstood, but that's exactly what makes them dangerous when they need to be. They can manipulate, deceive, and outsmart those who underestimate them. While not all quiet people are dangerous, it's their ability to operate beneath the surface that makes them so unpredictable. So the next time you meet someone who's quiet, don't mistake their silence for weakness. It might just be their most powerful tool. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insights on human behavior and psychology.